Welcome back to part 29 of my Tamacon Let's Play. Total War Warhammer 3. We continue where we left things off last time. And we've got a big old battle to kick things off with today. Fighting the forces of Sylvania. Which includes Vlad. He's got the third and final force coming on in. Not exactly his best army. In fact, the other armies are way tougher. Way more intimidating. With plenty of Graveguard. Got some Cairn Wraiths. They've got some Hex Wraiths. Crypt Horrors black knights there's even some vargulfs and a terrorized impact this army yeah really quite scary against just my singular force i do have dread quakes though um i do have the infernal guard the fire glaives i've got the chosen of nurgle which are tough tough boys 84 melee defense is mad plus obviously tamakan himself uh Kleizic the befouled and is our doom bolt should be able to win this one. We might do worse than the auto resolve, which is predicting a period victory with medium casualties, but not actually losing an entire unit. I may end up losing an entire unit. But I thought, seeing as we've well and truly begun our invasion of Sylvania now, we might as well fight this big epic clash against all the vampires. And then after this battle, we'll probably just auto resolve smash our way through the remaining forces because they'll just be results like this. So let's warm up with a big old vampire count takedown uh, that should allow us for a swift conquest of Sylvania so we can then turn our attention to our in-game crisis which is the Wood Elves. So in we go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Is everyone at gold? No, not everyone's at gold veterans. So the Ogres and the Chosen Sil at um, Silver Tier. But they should all be gold tier soon. See, I think we could have taken Lightning Strike as well, but I wanted to, again, fight one big old battle against all these guys together. Um, and then then I can Lightning Strike or resolve my way through all the other enemies. But this, this should prove a little bit of a challenge just because of their sh like sheer numbers involved. I'm actually kind of annoyed that they're coming in there because it means I can't just form up here like in a straight line against them. Uh, I mean, I could form it around these guys and smash them into bits as they come in. But these guys will have probably marched in by then. That's actually quite annoying. So I'm hoping this will probably just pull back to this corner. Well, actually, along here, where I've got room for, like, ridge line control. The terrain isn't too bad from back here to deal with those guys as they come on in. Oh, that's true as well. Only half of them will come in as well. I mean, Vlad's army does not worry me at all. That's that's just Dreadquake fodder. The the first half of that army don't care about the second half. That's that's some nasty stuff in there. Um, they will potentially wait for their reinforcements, but we'll be bombarding them from the start with the Dreadquake. What I'll probably do is actually start with my Dreadquakes in range. Just get a couple of shots off to draw them to us. Then we'll pull the Dreadquakes back, I think, to around about here. And then we'll pull the Fire Glaives in to hold that hill and go across. We'll have them more on the right. We'll have the Chosen holding along there. Have the Ogres protecting them. Isaac, I'm going to pop you guys in the trees because then you can harass this flank where they've got the Black Knight's Hex Wraiths and then pop back and smash these guys. Bunkle, we'll go behind the line here. Tamakan, we'll have you probably just, uh, you'll stay out in front of the Fire Glaives to draw the enemy in. You're going to sit with the Fire Glaives. Yeah, that looks good to me. That should be clear line of sight, I think, for most of them. Maybe need to shuffle them a bit further forward. That's good. Have these chosen. Up to around about there. Doom bolt. Go in. Tuck in there. Fire, that would be great. Consider 
You're not gonna fire? You've now let Vlad come in. Come on. Why aren't you guys firing? Fine, pull back to there. Just harass these guys back there. Weaken them all. Pop the plague bearers behind. Now the dreadquakes are going. Oh, but of course you're firing. Not on the infantry. They got these guys comfortably there. Actually, yeah, they're not going to come in at all because all of Vlad's force came in because it was. It was a full force, so that's fine. These guys won't come in until we wipe these guys. But obviously, as the units crumble, then they'll start coming in. Which does suck a little bit. Okay, their lords come in. There's Kaizik. Focus up there for a little bit. Blast away, blast away, blast away. Move the cavalry away. Leave Kaizik fighting. You guys fire there. They fire on all of Vlad's guys. They come in. You guys will be zapped away by this lot. Ogres have got them nicely. You guys need some help over here. go. That should be enough. Hit that one. Hit those guys. They're just asking for it. Pull you guys away. Slow you lot down. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, chuck that over there. Happy days. Cavalry away, guys. That you can tank in anybody else that comes your way, you'll be fine. Okay, you got those guys there. 
Fred Quake. Crumble, please. Slow them down with these guys there. All the cavalry behind. Slow them all down. Smash Vlad if you can. That's going to be devastating. you over there just dealing with all those guys munch this lot to bits keep moving go for the black coach that's deletion inbound. Straight into Vargulf. Pop with a burst of that. Getting absolutely wrecked. How are you doing over here? Isaac. Yeah, keep going. Keep booping. Get you out of there. Isaac. We love the sick. Sickly torment. Utility for all. There you go. Hit all of these coming in. Pull them towards my gun line. Crumble time. Yeah, Vlad's gone. Everybody crumbles. Beautiful. 
Very nice. Hero so from Pyrrhic to Heroic. So that was good. Lost 40. Yeah. So that was going to be medium casualties to the order resolve. Okay. They're going to rise again. But we've done a pretty... Pretty darn good job there. Happy days. 739 with Dreadquake and 636. Not bad. Um, We are negative on our income right now, but <laughs> we're gaining plenty of loot. Uh, it's not much, but I'll just take the teeny tiny bit of replenishment because I don't really need the money or infections. So those three armies that we were able to pull in all at once, how many are left? Let's actually go check, see how many rows again. Okay, not many at all. Vlad von Karstein. Bye bye. That's those two gone. There we go. That's them wiped. Now get back up again from that. Dares you. So we're still within our territory there, aren't we? Gonna go there, then I can strike with Bad next turn. Demius. I mean, what's there? They've still got a couple of armies about, but can't see them being any real threat to us. Oh, perfect. I can hit that army and probably draw the garrison out. Nice. Yeah, we should be able to smash through pretty comfortably. How many turns have we got left until the end game? Eight turns, yeah. But basically, our goal is to wipe out the vampires by then. Although, I do need to get back to deal with the dwarves that are storming towards me. Get it done. Causing some troubles. Mm. Got up there pretty much. Are you are you at war with them? You are yes. not welcome in my court. Yet here you are. Yet here you are. What's their strength hang on to? Twelve. So they're still pretty strong. We're strength hang three. Who's number one? Have we found number one? We haven't. It's probably Nagarond, right? Yeah, go take this, Epidemius. We lost one. That secures me a little bit more. Stuff. Yeah, you're going to run, aren't you? Yeah, wuss. Okay, that's fine. Slice the victory. Storm straight in. Uh, I mean, there's going to be public order problems anyway, so I might as well loot like by. Drakenhof. Get the extra income. I say that that nearly on its own has uh, paid for our extra force. We're we're gonna keep we just keep throwing in stuff, aren't we? Got six of them. Got clean ones. What else am I going for? I could go for a couple of soul grinders. Do that. Uh, I wouldn't mind a few more Rot Knights, to be honest. I haven't got any more, though. Um, we could take some Ogres. Takes up 17. Two more of them. Treat yourself to another great unclean one. I know that's really in the red there. But as long as we keep taking territory, we should be fine. I could throw some heroes in, but as a spellcaster, I'm quite happy with just running that full force again. We're solidly in the end game, so I'm not I'm not too concerned about my composition as long as I've got like a 
pretty solid front line of troops. Oh, you go hit Templehof. They've got a reasonable garrison there. I'm just a little bit worried about these guys marching up and taking it back. Um, you can reach it in normal stance. So I don't really want to go in with these guys not being at full strength. Though, you could go in there for even more. You guys are fine. Even if you get attacked by those guys. Comfortable. Trying to assault these guys. Success. Nice. Keep an eye on what's going on up there. Everybody else got to move. Yeah, we're not at war with these guys. We're just at war with Why so silent? Village. It looks like finally the chorfs of Zatan are going to go Don't boop them into oblivion. Actually, it wasn't that what I was going to chuck in that other one. I was going to get some dreadquakes and stuff in it, but I can't be bothered to wait around for them. Are you guys going to go in here? I mean, these guys don't actually need to be doing this anymore, do they? Like, we can, ju we could just hold the status quo if we really wanted to. Because our victory objectives are all done. We just got to win the end game crisis, so we don't actually need to take out Cafe, but we'll keep stomping them down. These guys would have nothing to do otherwise. I'm wary of spending money on upgrades right now just because I know we're running such a deficit. I could go grab that. Don't mind them doing it. I mean, they, are you guys at war with anyone? Just the northern provinces. We're going to be set free soon. I don't fear those armies, so I'm going to go up here. Get ready to strike. Dragon gates. I can try and repair it, but you'll probably get hit again. Let's just check our armies have all moved. And then we'll run negative for a little bit. Oh, yeah, Kugarth. K -k 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 Kugarth. Why were you coming over here? Oh, was I going to go after the Defenders of the Great Plan? Was that was that the plan, Kugarth? Who else were we at war with? Oh, no. You know what we were doing? We were... Because it's Wood Elves. We were going to go take out the jungle, weren't we? Or get him over here ready for that. But yeah, we could also take the lizards out. So we'll do that. Off you go, Kugarth. Beautiful. Uh, I can do more plagues, I think. Uh, you guys got that. Oh, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. You've moved. I can do this bad boy. Completely refill his movement range for his army. So you guys can go again. Would you be able to hit them? Looks like it. And they're in force march. So yeah, let's do that. Activate that ability. Uh, does Tamakon need instant replen replenishment? I think he's fine, right? Yeah, he doesn't need it right now. You remember, I've got all those available. Peace path stance. How long does that last for? Just like a single turn, I guess. So maybe we'll try it next turn, actually. But yeah, Timmy, Tim, 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 Tim. Your army can now move up here. Oh, you can't reach village. You can reach these guys. I'm going to press past a bit. That's fine. Push them back together. Then I'm closer to hitting Wei Jin. 
No, it's fine. End turn. Hey village, are you on peace? No, you will have death. I know you're also for Captain Han. We want to know about Shogun too. Are those dwarfs constantly heading towards me? Uh, Astrogoth, I really need you to go for that settlement, please. You slow me down, didn't we? Because obviously we'll have to deal with dry char, I assume. Ugh. We have to. I'm gonna have to split some moment. We have to go burn Ethel Lauren to bits, and then go up to deal with you. We're gonna have to deal with the sisters of Twilight as well. So actually, that's what Kugarth can go on over and do. Hit that one there. Actually, no, he doesn't want that one. He wants that one. Take him there. Then either we sail on up and destroy the sisters from here. Or sail up and hit the point there that takes you up to here and then strike that way. It's going to take a little bit of time actually to do. Okay, so they just did the old switcheroo around us. The Tan is sending his forces through. Wouldn't mind grabbing Wei Jin while I can. Then I can drop down. How, how are you, uh, Blessed Dread? You've still got non-aggression, but yeah, you're probably going to end up getting upset. I'll go for Wei Jin. For now. We need to sort out our money. Issues. I assume I probably want to go take these guys out as well, actually. Two forces plus a solid garrison. That ain't going to be the funnest. I don't have lightning strike. Don't know if I can deal with you guys or not. Let's go smush some vamps. I can hit you, draw them all out. We draw that army out plus the garrisons. So that's quite a lot. Uh, oh, we've got our oh, Vlad's back over here. Of course he is. We've got the Zuf bar. So what I could do is go up, take Oakenhammer, and then send you into Drakenhof. Meanwhile, Tamakan smashes through work bad. Epidemius marches in on as well. But yeah, we need to get these guys done within the next eight turns. No. Seven turns. Still doable. Got the bottom button there. We've got nine regions remaining. So just check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. But I've also got to you know, keep an eye on these dwarfs. Plenty of enemies up here. I'm hoping the Demon Prince, yes, sailing across. Uh, I can't give him an attack order yet. So annoying. Lord of Light. From here we spread. Take Oaken Hammer. You chill in there. I'm not too worried about them pressing the attack. If they do. And fighting it manually, I should be able to break them. Back there, push across. Uh, 
scatter them to the eight winds. Right now I'm struggling on money. I've been doing some building. We can still take another end turn if we need to. logical deals you are here with a pact mm, yeah I might as well be friendly with normal scratch at this point with my sword but today Good. take a military alliance as well yeah I wonder if I can get you to join the war against these guys. What if I gave you the money the other way instead? It's not going to do it, is it? No. Okay, that's fine. Take all the money I can from you. The correct part. Hoping I can just use you guys to harass and break them. Hub is a missile you're about to get splattered. No, that's not the army to really do the splatting with, although you do have a Cali Destroyer in there, so that's, that's fair. That's the army to do it. Uh, chieftains, yeah, I know we can still do more stuff. Is that for upkeep cost reduction? Okay. That will help us out massively then. Um... You've got a very expensive army Kugar, so let's give it to you. Helped a bit. And ten. I came for the new DLC. New corn here. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, like I'm, I'm hoping I'll be in a position where I can actually do all three new legendary lords um, at launch, probably, or potentially even two recorded, one streamed. Or two streamed, one recorded. Will depend what my schedule's like, to be honest. Yeah, looking forward to that. Like ogres, green skins, and corn. All, all check in the boxes for me. Uh, War host of Zar. Uh, okay, yeah, going after the puppets misrule. Yeah, interstellar ally. We knew it was going to happen at some point. Going to mess me about a little bit, but it doesn't look like they've done much. It looks like they held the red fortress though, which is really frustrating because we were nearly rid of village. They keep pushing south. This is this is not good for us. Because it means I'm going to have to turn my armies around to deal with them. I wanted to be in a position where I could go straight after the Wood Elves in seven turns. But most likely I'm going to be having to reclaim territory from them. From these dwarves first. I don't think I can even peace out with them. I'll come back to this in a minute. Vert bad tricks to cop discovered. That's just what you want. Doing my nothing. Yeah. Minus 400 on the baseline evaluation there. Mm. Not. God, they're really, they're really, really strong. Really, really strong. I mean, I know how fun they are to play as. Demon There's Prince. no one really that strong in the north. I need, if I can get the world walkers to declare war. Hoping maybe I they'll consider it in a bit. With my sword, but today you are lucky. Uh, but anyways, off to join war against somebody that they're at war with, but I think it'd probably have to be Reichland to stand a chance, and I mean, that's not much of a deal. Okay. I don't know how strong the dwarves are. I mean, it's not helping that I've got the Nemesis crown, which is going to be hitting diplomatic relations a little bit. Begun. 
Oh, Vladdy, why are you running away? I'll just go in and take Ziff Bar then. Thanks. I'm looking at this going like, oh, why am I not gaining so much more loot from settlements? It's because I'm used to the crazy amount of post-battle loot I get in my Lockyer Fellheart Dark Elf series right now. Well, at least you're trapped in the mountains now. They went and hit Esh and then pulled back. Um, I can't afford to leave Drakenhof because otherwise they'll come to do exactly the same thing there. I can't press in there yet. I can go for Oberstar with Epidemius. They could come out and attack me with those two forces. If they do, I think we'll hold. Well, so they could also bring that army in as well. Oh, no, they won't. tamakon has got mad range. Here we go. It's fine. We'll have to still push this way anyway to deal with the vampires and then into the forests. Mountains, yeah. They're going to be a pain. I was just thinking, like, oh, I've been, I'm not, like, you know, rushing to finish this campaign, to be honest. But I was thinking, oh, we're, we're pretty close to the end, right? The end game price won't take that long. It's, it's going to take a while, actually, isn't it? It's going to take a little while. And that's just to kind of get through to it. Definitely will be up for fighting the battle against the the dwarves of the blimps. You're not worth the fight. Oh wow, you got enough goblin here, is there? Yeah, that's the blimp force. Team. I'm gonna keep pushing this way. I mean, keep keep diving in. No, I'll have to counterattack hard in the north. Oh, is, is Archeon part of um Azazel? <laughs> Are you, no Azazel, you're all with them, right? Yeah. That's your only settlement. Come on, Azazel. Get stuck in. I need you guys getting. I need you not to pull back for whatever reason. Yeah, go after Drycher, please. If you guys could all go and attack, that'd be great. Please. We've got plenty of gold right now, so that's fine. We need to invest it in a few of our regions that we're grabbing all over the place. Yeah, we don't want to get the Throne of Chaos in there. For sure. Also, I miss being able to rush through buildings already. Um. Yeah, I can't really go in there. That's fine. Pyrrhic victory wage in. Yeah, that's fine. Occupied Celestial Palace. Faction wide, all buildings plus 5%. You hear that? That's not bad. Happy days there. Lovely stuff. Yeah, village. We're at war with these guys now. That's fine because I'm hoping these guys are going to deal with them. Although they look a bit battered. They've managed to hold them off there as well. So, Tan, do I need to take control of one of your armies again? If anything, I need to consolidate my armies together. I've got you guys coming on up, so we just need to deal with one army at a time. Or one enemy at a time, rather. Although, at this rate, we might as well finish off the northern provinces with this force. Then we can go north. Make you Welcome to the blessed dread. Will you be staying? Uh, I'm actually going to offer you a medium gift because I need you to kind of stay on task of not wanting to kill me anytime soon. The last thing I need is another enemy. Over here. Um, you're surely only going to be bigger, stronger, and scarier. I don't know how to pick you guys off. I mean, I know the Nemesis Crown is strong, but I don't know if it's strong enough to deal with. Multiple foes. The perfect plague is within reach. I guess we fight and find out, really. Cultist of the Fly Lord. Cultist of the Fly Lord. 
on our fetid feet! Ascended! Counting for an improvement. Yes, I feel the power. Don't really want to build anything over there because I know we're going to end up losing it. That's going to be too much. Just enough. Now we can make a little bit of money. I've got so many weapons here that I probably should go around and like give you guys new stuff. What I'm going to do though, just to. I know I could merge up all of this stuff, but let me just salvage all that stuff right now. Actually, it's not a huge amount. I just need to go through some of my art, my lord, oh, yes, next time. It's giving us enough money just to keep things going. Yeah, I forgot the moot is a single slaughter, isn't it? Probably gonna get hit there, but we'll try repair. Oh, I'm back to back to where I was. Um, can I do the income booster? I can. Amazing. That's fine. What is our highest earn? It's gonna be the Dragon Isles. You've still got your plague right for increasing income. Yep. But you'll need you'll need another one actually next turn. You've got your building income. You guys don't. Lovely. Right. See what happens with another intern. You stand before the great maggot lord. Uh, military access Scarbrand. I was going to say no, just because I don't think it really brings much to the table. That was of a shit. Oh no, guys. You're attacking the ice court. I don't really want Katrin because they're I'd have to uh, if I break it though then I'll lose the troops that I've recruited. Ah I mean it was probably inevitable. I think I was thinking it was gonna be really lucky of me, fortunate of me, to avoid war with Reichland. The thing is, I've got an army right there, poised. Oh, well, there goes. Hey, this will be over. <laughs> this is straightforward, what we need to do. We've now got the other big power players. God damn it. Chorfs. The thing is, you're not even pushing where I need you to push. It's probably inevitable, though. If they, if they don't declare war, it's probably going to be them declaring war on me anyway. They hate me. Very well. Although, actually, am I at war with the Empire? Or am I just at war with Kislev now? He was just saying the Empire were also their allies.
Oh, just unlocked Elements of Decay. Playing as Nurgle, unlock, um, was it use every plague symptom once? Nice. Okay, so I'm not at war with the Empire. That's good. It was just bringing me in. Chicken scratch. It was just bringing me into war with the Ice Court. You've gone. You're like, I want to escape that way. Where the heck did Vladdy Daddy go? He's here in the mountain somewhere. Oh, damn enough to get rid of that cult. Bye, Sigma. Bye, Sigma. Right, you move into Schwarzhofen. Tamakon. And then up here, you guys can't go to Tempelhof. Epidemius, you can go to Tempelhof. Smashing our way through vamps. They should just have three regions remaining, if I've calculated correctly. Oh, no, only two. Oh, they lost that. They lost Faldorf to the Empire. Oh, nice. Oh, maybe the Empire's going to go take Dottenbach. That's fine if they want to have that. I am A-OK -okay with them doing that, which means I get to wipe them out there shortly. Uh, that can go then. Beautiful. Yeah, Voltmar. Go go smush. Good, Voltmar. Good. Which means you need to stay there to deal with Vlad. Can't quite reach that, but I can move to... Wardenhof. Okay, we're gonna have to defend the northern border. We'll also get ready to go splat elves that way. It'll just be interesting to see when it does fire. Which is it? I assume it's all elves, but maybe maybe we'll get lucky with how they've been spread about the map. Um. Who got that? Do you kind of want to go and attack these guys? I don't know if it's a bad idea or not. We've got the Nemesis Crown. We've got three turns to fight a battle to get a win or to lose it. I mean, I don't actually know if long term I do want the Nemesis Crown. It's going to ruin relations. Not that I have many important relations remaining, but still. Well, hi, Locke here. Are you, are you going to go for that, aren't you? You're hungry. Don't have exactly the best army, though. Is it enough to take the Celestial Monastery? Probably. If you take it, I'll go for the Village of the Moon and then up over there. I obey Meanwhile, the Rotten Prince Sergio. is replenishing. I could reach the Turtle Gate. But then Village is right there, so I should probably replenish. I want to take over an army that has artillery, but they, they're not recruiting many decent bits of artillery. Yay, 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 yay. We stormed through well. Lock here's eaten them up from south. I need to stay friendly with you. I need to stay friendly with you. Oh, yeah. Where are you going, Josoeth? Oh, Hanrag. Could you come and help? That'd be great. Stay put, Timmy. Right. I think we will wrap things up here for today and we will open having made a decision as to whether or not we're going to smush these guys. We're going to have to smush these wood elves eventually because I think in five turns they'll turn against us anyway. So should we clear them out of their jungle so that we don't have to worry about potentially an immediate threat there? I mean, they may well respawn, but should we weaken them first? They're also called exact. Is that the same lord twice? Yeah, top. I guess so. Well, we'll pick things up from here next time. So wherever you've been watching, I hope you've enjoyed. Till the next one, take care and ciao for now.